Uh, keep us following this next comedian. Comes out and has been performing out overseas and all over the country. You guys get the bird, Lindsay Loon. <laughs> your sister. That's just truth. Everybody thinks they've done much better with my sister. That's all right. I'm cheering for her. She's my girl. And I'm a girl's girl. I love women. I love being a woman. I love the fact that we're all here because we came out of a woman. Woo! And, uh, yeah, let's hear it from mom. when people speak badly about women. And women, we do it too, right? You know, we say, we say things like, oh, women, we're the worst. We're passive aggressive. You know what's worse than passive aggressive? Aggressive aggressive. I would rather have the bite of wit than the bite of Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Makes me feisty. But certain things calm me down. I love to travel. I'm a wandering Jubilee. I lived in Australia, New Zealand, Japan. And there's one thing that those, that those places have in common. They're far. <laughs> They're so far, if you went any further, you'd start coming back around. Mm -hmm. I used to spend a lot of time on planes. And every time I'm on a plane, I think, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, because I am terrified. I'm flying. Oh, man. One time I was flying back from Japan and I had a middle seat. And there were two sumo wrestlers, right? One on either side. And I saw this. I looked at them. I looked at me. And I thought, well, we're all squishy. Because my body type is kota. <laughs> two sumo wrestlers. I'm right in the middle. And then I thought, wow, yes, airbags. I am cushioned. When we go down, I'm safe. Yeah. This aisle is bubble wrapped. Oh, man. Oh, man. So I have a boyfriend. You can clap for that, y'all. I'll tell you. His name is Mike. And as a comic, I spend time with another Mike. Yeah. But at least this Mike listens to me. And stays hard. That was entirely for me. That's not our problem. But we have problems. We have a lot of problems. I think it's partly because we're just so different. You know, like I'm talkative and social, and he's quiet. He doesn't say much, but when he does, it's really mean. Yeah. He believes in total truth, you know, and he won't lie to me, even when I beg him to. Yeah, but I love him. And my dad loves him. He says, Mike has good character. And character means everything to my dad. He loves sports because it builds character. And in high school, briefly, I had this athletic phase, and I really watched my diet. I lost a lot of weight. My dad was super supportive, but he was too supportive. You know, he'd say things like maximum nutrition, minimal calories. We were in the kitchen one day, 
And he was going off about food. And my mom said, Jordan, don't talk to her that way. You're going to make her an anorexic. And he said, what? She doesn't have the discipline to be an anorexic. <laughs> but he's right. Yeah, my discipline level is self-care, you know? Um, when I lived in Japan, I loved going to the Japanese bath. Anybody go to the Koreatown baths? Yeah. Oh, clean and cultured. <laughs> or you just like seeing naked people. Because yeah. when you go in, there's a whole lot of naked people. Everybody ends up in the baths together in a traditional Asian bath, right? But it's no big deal because everybody's naked. Except in Japan, sometimes I was the only foreigner, so I'd get a few looks, you know? Because I was the only person without pixelated genitals. <laughs> you dirty, you knew that was Japanese porn. <laughs> yeah, so one day I go and there's this little old lady and she's staring at me. And I looked at her, I realized she's like 100 years old, and I thought, respect your elders, look away. But before I did, I noticed that her breasts were amazing. <laughs> game recognized game, y'all. Hers were aspirational. They were heavy with history. They were longer than Snoopy's nose. These pendulums came swinging towards me, and she said, Honto? You really are what? Zenta all over. I felt seen. And then I spent nine years learning Japanese just to tell you all that joke. <laughs> Look, all we can ask from each other is truth and kindness, so. Find me on Instagram, I'm Lindsay Loon Official, because I'm Lindsay and I'm officially a loon. Thank you.